At the beginning of the Terracotta training program, participants discuss the manufacturer's guidelines for installation of the product. The terracotta glazing that was deteriorated from the surface of the units was removed with a chisel dancing technique using a pneumatic air hammer. The other tool that was used was a caulking cutter fitted with a caulking cutter blade. An angle grinder was used to square off the deteriorated portions of the terracotta units. A die grinder unit was used to square off the corners using a glitter bit. It's kind of how this stuff acts, even when you sand it. We've got a temperature gauge. Uh, it's actually gauging the temperature of the unit. And, uh, we're at around 45 degrees, between 45 and um, 50 degrees on the terracotta unit. So that's going to affect the set time of the material. The terracotta repair mortar was mixed five parts powder to one part acrylic and then applied in a thin peanut butter coat. The second part of the mortar repair is the build-out coat. The build-out coat is actually where the material is applied in layers to the finished profile. The thin fill 55 product was used to repair the surfaces of the terracotta units. Finished up the terracotta uh, repair and I'm kind of coming here and looking at what we did. Here's the final, here's the final uh, uh, thin coat that we put over and we just finished sanding it so it fixed the spalls in the um, surface of the terracotta. And this is the actual mortar repair here that we, we rebuilt that whole corner on this terracotta. Each participant will return to the trailer where they took a written test, then received their hard hat stickers for the training component, terracotta repair.